Peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street fame. I know what it is. Top of the morning, man. I'm trying to hit y'all with something real quick. <coughs> real quick. Um, I'm on my way to the jizz Y'all know what it is. I want to talk about the girl. Uh, her name is Shinquilla. I think I'm saying Shinquilla. Shinquilla Robinson. The girl that went to Mexico with her friends. Her so-called friends. And ended up losing her life. Beautiful chick. Um, beautiful uh, young black female. She had a boutique. She had her own businesses. I think she had more than one business on my show. But she had her own boutique. I know that. Um, she goes on a trip. With some of her friends to Mexico. And in that trip. Within 24 hours. Of her getting to Mexico. And the Airbnb. She gets in a fight. With a female. That's with her there. One of her friends. Um, I don't know how true it is. Social media put up a picture. Of the chick. The chick said she was going to go live on Instagram to clear her side of the story. Supposedly she went to Connecticut. But you know, some people make fake pages and they, and they start posting it. <coughs> and they're telling everybody to follow her page because she's going to go live. And next thing you know, it might be a local rapper. You know what I'm saying? Just using the situation to make a, a page get popular on, on Instagram. I don't know if she was going to do that or what it is, but... Um... I mean, it ain't too smart if you if you, if you if they want to talk to you to go live. You know what I mean? You know the police coming. But um, they put up a picture of her, and then they took the wig off, and it was a dude. They're like, "Oh, it's a dude," because there was a gay dude there. Because I read it in the, in the, the little the, the little bit that I did read on the situation, there was a gay dude there. And you can hear everybody talking on camera and they're telling her, fight back. Because they get recorded and uploaded a video of her fighting. And they tell her, at least hit back. At least fight back. Man, the girl's not fighting back. Why, y'all? Uh, why would you continue to beat her up? They said she, uh, they called her family and so that she, um, had alcohol poisoning. And they couldn't find the pulse. The mother calls the FBI and Mexico City, uh, Mexico uh, police. Um, come to find out There was no alcohol poisoning She had a, uh, a, a cracked spine And a broken neck um, And these are her friends That supposedly she went out with You gotta be careful who you surround yourself around Especially when you're somebody Coming up that has goals That's uh, somewhat successful uh, You have a business that you're trying to push And, and go forward with it um, You got some people around you that's just waiting for you to make it big so they could leech off of you or they could, you give them an opportunity in life. There's a lot of people like that. They ain't out willing to go get it themselves. They just waiting, they're parasites. They're sitting around waiting, living off of you. Uh, really, they don't like you. They might be envious of you the whole time. But they know that you're close to blowing up or you're close to making it and they want, they, they are opportunists and they want to be there for these opportunities. And, you know, sometimes those people get exposed in, situ in situations like this. They get exposed. You know what I'm saying? And she got in a fight with these people, with this girl. Supposed to be somebody saying there's a dude. Like I said, I don't know if that's true. Because uh, they took the wig off. You know, you know, you know, social media, the internet, you know what I'm saying? The internet's uh, uh, undefeated, man. They, they do all kinds of shit. When they took the wig off, dude looked like uh, Tommy Davidson in the face ass. You know what I mean? So you got to be... Uh, you got to be careful what you say. Because next thing you know, I, I might say it's a dude and it's not really. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, social media, they be posting all kinds of shit. But, um... Yeah, man, it's a sad situation, man, for somebody just coming up. You know what I'm saying? Successful. They go on vacation with their people and die within the first 24 hours. Them people ain't like you, man. Within the first 24 hours? Y'all weren't even there a week where you could be like, I'm sick of being around people. Nothing. The first 24 hours, y'all get in the fight. They been had some shit built up. They been had some tension. They been had some hate and animosity towards you. So you always got to be careful who you keep around you. I'm always by myself. Um, anybody tell you, I mean, I could go live with a 
bunch of month, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of people in the street all the time. That's cool. Whatever. I could do that. I don't. But when I pull up wherever I go, anybody, no matter what hood it is, anybody could tell you nine times out of ten, I'm by myself. I know what I'm gonna do. I don't need no co-defendants, I don't need no fake homies. I ain't never had to call a shooter. I don't call shooters. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't keep people around me. I learned that a long time ago. There's a lot of fake ass people. They just around you for opportunity. They waiting for you to drop the ball so they can pick it up. You know what I'm saying, man? Be careful who you have around you, who you go on vacation with. Like out here in Orlando, man, we tied in with Puerto Rico. It's like one thing, man. You feel me? Puerto Rico and Orlando is tied in like that. And, um, man, you know, people people mess up, man. People out here working, they, you know, they doing, not working legal jobs. I'm talking about like, working packages, working phones for people, messing up shit. And they cats be like, yo, we gonna go to PR on vacation. Somebody ain't coming back. Somebody end up missing. Happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? It happens all the time. I had a homie out here. Rest in peace, bottom line. I had a homie out here. He was in the athletes and he caught some some dude, you know what I'm saying? Put the beats on him real bad. Like, real bad. He went to PR. They from the same hood. He go live like, yeah, I'm out here whoop de whoop. Rest in peace, bottom line. They hit him in the stomach once, threw him in the back of a car, and set the car on fire. So, you know, you got to be careful of a lot of things today and today's time. And a lot of people fake. It's a real, it's a real, it's a real, I, look, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm leave this video with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all know this. The love is fake and the hate is real. I know what it is, man. We all gas, no brakes. And if you ain't going to be good, at least be safe. You heard?